Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Cosmos Atom. Yeah, Atom is a chart I've been warning about for a while. Um, I've been highlighting to exercise caution here. And I also highlighted last time in the last update that the orange wave count here, that the direct downside count is definitely going to be the preferred one below $7. Oh uh, yeah, below $7 and that it would likely lead to another bear market low. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the problem that exists with this chart and always existed is that this move up initially into the October highs, that's just not impulsive. Yes, it made a nice increase, but it's just at best a diagonal, okay? You cannot trust these. So, and then, <clears throat> yes, the move down so far, a three wave move, but it will turn obviously into uh, a larger five wave move with another low. Okay, it can still be a large ABC structure as you can see here, AB and then one, two, three, four, five. But one more low seems reasonable at this stage because to be a, um, to be the yellow, to do the yellow one, two setup, which could lead to a third wave rally, the price would, should not have broken below that $7 level yeah? or $7.08 it was, yeah, the 78.6 FIP level. We now have a pretty substantial drop. Well, see, and here is exactly a great example of what I highlight usually as a sustained break below. I often say a sustained break. We need to see a sustained break below the 78.6 FIP level. And there you go. Consolidation below support and then even a retest and it goes below and takes out the previous swing low. That's a sustained break below support. Um, and that just indicates that, yeah, we should now be heading to, I would say, first of all, $5.62 which is the so with the so far bear market low, but then even better, or oh, better, but more probable eventually would be a move down to $4.61 next because it has lost support. And typically double bottoms do not hold. And the double bottom, yeah, would be achieved, you know, when it comes down to that previous bear market low, the June 22 low at $5.62. But double bottoms, again, they rarely hold. They really rarely hold. So from that point of view, I am focused here on the downside. A few things I can imagine could happen still, potentially a triangle. But for a triangle, uh, I haven't got enough waves yet. It would, you know, if it now moves up, then down, you know, we have enough waves and then we can say, okay, this is likely a triangle. At the moment, I can just highlight that wave fours like to unfold as triangles. That's certainly something I could see happen if it doesn't break below $5.62 because a break below $5.62 would invalidate the triangle idea. So I've got these dashed lines in the chart that indicate, yeah, it could be a triangle. Certainly not bullish, okay? So it could be a triangle, could turn into, yeah, an ending diagonal then, you know, one, two, three, maybe another four and a five uh, to the downside in the orange count, that would probably be this one, two, three, four, five, in wave five. You know, this is, this would be the, um, this would be the bearish count, detailed, yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much more to add. I mean, the only other thing that we could potentially add to the chart, let's see what, what is the 88.7 FIP level. I don't expect strong support there, but it might, it might find some temporary support. And that's basically now $6.32. I will take it off again because I do not see this. I mean, I can take these FIP levels off anyway because we don't need them anymore because it was broken. So it's likely going to head down to um, the, the previous bear market low. And then if it turns around just above that, we might be forming a triangle. If it breaks through straight away, it's likely going to follow more directly here, the orange wave count. So anyway, it doesn't look very positive or at least very bullish for it in the short term. Um, I'm focusing rather on the downside here at the moment. So it's certainly nothing where I say, okay, we have an impulse or anything. The other problem in addition to this move up obviously is the break of the 78.6 FIP level I highlighted, but also the break below um, the local 78.6 here and that this is not an impulse. So also this looked rather corrective. So that's my update about Atom. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.